Man, I tell y'all, this is a day I've been waiting on. I've been waiting on the return of Miles Bridges with the Charlotte Hornets. Boy, I tell you, boy, I just love me some Flintstones, boy. Them Flint boys, them Flint boys got game. Now, I know he had some problems with the little gal that he was with, some domestics. Uh, issues, but hopefully all that is behind him now. He can get on and represent Flint. I mean, I love them Flint players. Now, I'm the type of person I bat in football. I love my University of Michigan. Basketball, always go with Izzo. We always go with Michigan State in basketball. Always. And mild because that's because Izzo, Izzo always going to have them some boys from Flint there. Always have some boys from Flint there. And then, I'm going to tell you, between Flint and Saginaw, Man, they didn't they didn't put some players in the NBA for as small as open up them two little towns is. I think Flint just put up put for probably around about I want to say 38 players in the NBA. And Saginaw has put about nine. So yeah, about yeah, about about seven to nine players in the NBA. Draymond Green, notable. And um and that boy Kenyon Martin. See, I, that's why the that's what I'm gonna tell you something about them Flint Snows and them Sag Nasty, them boys don't play. Let me tell you something. I, I, man, I used to run Saginaw. Not run Saginaw, like run it. I used to run up and down Saginaw. The more country girls in Flint Saginaw was the finest in Michigan. Now, Detroit has some fine women, right? right. But them gals and them country girls in Saginaw and in Flint, and let me tell you, boys, we, well, we used to have some fun up there, boy. Up there in Saginaw, had this club called the Silver Dollar. That was a hot club there. Then late night, you had a club called Jimmy Jeter's. Jimmy Jesus cook everything in their fish grease. Chicken in the fish grease. Everything in fish grease, boy. But I'm telling you, at 3 o'clock in the morning, that's some good eating, boy. Some good eating. But it was just as good to see Miles Bridges back there on the court. Hope, hope he can keep himself together, keep his hands to himself, you know, when it comes to, you know, dealing with his old lady. And um, see, it ain't like back, see, back in the day now. Back in the day, you know, this is just how it was back in the day. You know, your old lady get out of line. You know, you can put your hands on. Look at Miles. Miles just Miles hit you in another three-pointer. Miles back. I love me some Miles Bridges, man. I'll tell you. Anything from Flint and Saginaw basketball, I root 100% for him. Yes, I do, man. Let me tell you. The old Flintstones. They're playing a pretty good game here against uh, Milwaukee here. I'm going to kick back here. I'm on the front of my front gear. I got my little TV out here on the front gear. Got me a cigar. Got my little drinks. I'm going to enjoy this game. Man. But I tell you what, though, looking at Miles Bridges, I was watching Kenyon, Kenyon Martin today, and he was talking about, you know, Draymond Green. I guess Draymond Green, that big boy, uh, with that big boy from what? What did they play the other night? That big boy, he, he put in the headlock, he grabbed that boy for for best with his teammate. That what I always like. I'm gonna tell you something about Flint and Saginaw, them country boys up there. They got your back. If you ride with them, they got your back. Just like when Kenya Martin came in the league. Kenya Martin came into the NBA with his fist balled up. <laughs> he came in the league. I mean, I seen him challenge Moses Malone without any issues at all. And anybody who played with Kenya Martin, they tell you, old K Mark didn't, didn't play. Now, he wasn't no hell of a score, but far as a teammate and can, and can play ball and, 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 know, and know how to play the game, that Kenya Martin was a bad dude. And that was a guy that I heard you always wanted on your team. But see, but I knew the boy from Saginaw. Since he was from Saginaw, I knew he was a guy he would have on your team. Always have your back, just like Draymond Green. They don't they don't play the radio when they, when they, when they come and mess with their teammates if their teammates arrive with them. You know, that's just like that other boy who, uh, what, the last year, year, year before, who not the Washington Wiz Wizard, who called himself running that smack to um, Draymond Green, talking about he the most expensive backpack number 30, backpack number 30 ever had. And you see what happened to him, huh? <laughs> he got his head hugged out. I'm telling you, you don't play with them boys. Glenn Rice was another one from Flint. Glenn Rice was another one that, that, that you ain't played with. He's a challenge Michael Jordan all the time. <laughs> Glenn was a bad boy. Now, Glenn went to the University of Michigan now, but Glenn Rice was a bad boy. And I can remember a few of them, not just my team, Cleve, but I can remember a few of them boys because uh, I used to run up and down. That time when I was running up in Flint, had this club called Beavers. It was before Beavers when I used to run up there, but Beavers was a nice hot club up there too. And back in the day, you know, we spent more time out in the parking lot. Matter of fact, I was the first one to bring, I brought some Detroit strippers up from from uh, Detroit up to Flint. The first uh, male strip show I, I, I put on in Flint at Beavers. Man, let me tell you, that thing packed the house. Packed the house. Man, I tell you, 
But like I say, man, you was back in the day, man, them, them old split sacking out guy, get gals, there was some fine gals back there in the day. Now, the thing about them flip boys, they was cool, you know. If you, if you, if you came up there, you came up there, they might talk to their gals, but as long as you don't get biggie, as long as you don't get out of line, you get out of line with them cut the boys up there, they put something on you, you know. You know, they man, but I tell you, boy, I showed you looking at Miles Bridges back there. He just put he just put me in the mind back there when I used to run up and down Flynn Sacking all boy. That was back in the day, boy. I showed sure love it, boy. But like I said, I hope Miles Bridges. I'm rooting for the young man. Um now that, 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 uh, Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma's from Flint, but I gotta figure out where he's from because I ain't never known no guy from Flint to be painting his painting his painting his uh his fingernails and toenails and Painting his hair all them rainbow colors and wearing all them clown suits. I, I got to figure out what part of Flint. Now I know, I you know I I know he kind of two way. You know two way mean like you know he he, he got he, he got a white mom and a black dad. But I got to figure out. I don't know if he from actually from real Saginaw. You know the area the way that I know it's Saginaw. I don't know if he from Midland or Oxford or somewhere in between Saginaw and Flint. You know maybe because he just he just don't act like no uh, no fella from Flint. I ain't never seen no no cuss from Flint. Your mom, my just hit another three pointers. I just ain't never seen no no fella like that from Flint. He he he, he kind of puzzles me. You know I don't know what Kyle Cooper, but I gotta do some more research on him. You know, you say he's from Flint. You know he, he could be saying that because he's from one of the small towns out there, but he don't dress or act like no 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 cat from Flint. You know I mean yeah from Flint. Them boys, them boys in Flint, they them boys masculine in Flint. You know now I know the day is a different day. You know. You know, cat, you know, cats can be kind of, you know, whatever they want to do be, and that's fine too. But Kyle Kuzma puzzled me. He, he puzzled the heck out of me from Flint. Mm, mm, mm. Never seen no guy from Flint, you know, painting his, paint his fingernails and toenails and wearing all them clown coats and all that kind of stuff like that. It kind of puzzled me. But he say he's from Flint. But I know a lot of people, like when you go out of town, they ask you where you're from. You know, if you're from Michigan, you probably say I'm from Detroit. You know, uh, from Detroit, you know, but you know they probably from Pontiac or probably from uh the, somewhere out in the suburbs somewhere, you know. But I don't know about Kyle Kuzma. He don't, he don't, he he don't, he don't put me in no mind of no real Flintstone. And plus, he don't represent Flint like, like these rest, rest of the other cats, just in my opinion. But uh, yeah, old Kenyon Martin. I like old Kenyon Martin. I take the most sacking off boys. The most sacking off boys don't take no bow joking boys. Them boys don't play at all, boy. I used to love, I love up there with Bull Sacking. Every Friday night, I used to hit up, hit, I used to hit up I 75. Hit Flint, spend maybe about an hour with Flint and then hit Saginaw. That club, the Silver Dollar, was a hop in this club, but didn't have another nightclub. I can't remember another nightclub up there in uh in Saginaw that used to be hot. It used to be a jumping club. But back in the day, it was totally different. You know, you go to club, you have fun, you want no crazy stuff. You know, you just go there and game on women, you know? And like I say, when you go out of town, especially up there, now, I don't know too many Detroit cats that ever went up. Uh, past Pontiac, if they even went to Pontiac of the Flint Saginaw, I don't know. I don't. I don't know too many. You know, cats in Detroit mostly stayed in, in Detroit. And Detroit was a cool place back then to hang out to hang out with. Detroit it was a real cool place, and Detroit was like that too. Detroit had some fine women, boy. But I'm gonna tell you something. You go to Detroit, the cats was cool, but again, you don't get out of line. Cause see, Detroit, Pontiac. Flint Saginaw, up, when you head up I 75, them, them, their parents was country folks. They had a big pipeline, especially up in Saginaw. And Flint had a big pipeline from Mississippi. A lot of, a lot of folks came from Mississippi up to Martin Motor Plants, like in Saginaw. They had Delphi, Delphi, Delco. They came up out the south. So they was a little bit deep, uh, different. Detroit got a little bit more satisfied. A lot of them came from Louisiana and Alabama, places like that, and settled up in Detroit. But they was a, they got their little city fire, and they had their own thing. But they still had that, you know, they, they, were, they were welcome you in. But you better not step out of line. You step out of line. I don't know about now, but back in the day, usually go to Detroit, man, and have your good time. They didn't care where you was from. But I know that I noticed a lot of cats from Detroit never went up to Flint and Saginaw. And, man, that was my stuff in something. I had this old boy I, I hooked up with at this job that I had. Actually, he was he was a uh, uh, MC Breeds uh, manager, Leroy McMath. He was Leroy McMath's cousin. So Andre came up from Mississippi and he hooked up with Leroy after Leroy, you know, got out of incarceration. And Leroy 
hooked up with MC Breed and became his manager. And then Leroy later, later got a rapper called Gangsta Pat. So, so my boy Andre was Gangsta Pat role manager. So when I hooked up with Andre, that's how I got to roll around Flint and Saginaw because they knew those, knew those areas. Matter of fact, he had a studio in Flint, but I think I want to say his name, Bernard Terry. Bernard, he was in his basement. Like, I don't know if y'all don't know nothing about no R&B, y'all rappers, but had a group that they call Ready for the World, okay? And I remember when Andre Rising, Andre Rising can sing. Uh, back in the day, Andre Rising was going to do uh, uh, R&B uh, uh, record. He was going to do that Bernard studio. You see, I seen all them good fans back in the day. And Andre Rising, cool, smooth, smooth, cool, smooth dude back in the day. Again, he was one of them Flintstone guys. But let me tell you something. Don't get out of line now. Don't, don't get out of line. Because like I said, them old country boys, them boys ain't, them boys ain't taking no jokes. But it was some good, good down home fellas to be up in the north. So... That's all. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, just happy to see Miles Bridges back, uh, representing uh, Flint. You know, Draymond. I know, I know Draymond is Draymond, but man, look, Draymond, Draymond is is, is from Sag Nasty, and that's how them, that's how he is. That's how all of them. Like that's how Kenya Martin is. You know, them boys, they cool. If they down with you, they down with you. But you cross that line, they gonna get with you. Simple as that. You know, and I think this is what LaMelo, I, I think this is what LaMelo been missing, too. He been missing a running mate like Miles Bridges. You know, before Miles went out, I mean, him and, him and Melo, him and LaMelo was balling. So it's going to be good to see LaMelo and Miles get that chemistry back again. I just don't know how this coach here is going to play him. Now, I know he's a little tired right now. He ain't getting a whole lot of time in in the game, and that's okay, too. He get his legs, but his, his, uh, his three looks good. He's, he's running like he used to, but it's going to be good to see some of these high-flying plays back again with LaMelo because LaMelo loved his running mate, old Miles.